Hey guys, this is Sil. I'm back again with a new video. I I am so excited for this video. Action. Wait. My dog never stops barking. So yeah, let's wait. Okay, so I'm so excited for this video. I recently just follow this person and she is amazing like I follow her on Twitter and then I follow her on her YouTube channel she is Madison from Princess of Paperback on YouTube and I love the content she creates she loves manga and romance books so she's she's the perfect person for me to watch I love 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 and I recently watched her video of 80 on red books on her kindle and I thought that's perfect I'm gonna do it I have a ton of kindle books I have not read but I'm not going to put them all because I think I have like 300 books and that's gonna be a long ass video so I'm just gonna include I have my list and I have here 120 on red books in my kindle maybe I can do like a part two my dog is crying now I'm going to let her in but definitely I'm going to link Madison's video down below and maybe if I can manage to link it over here because I, I've seen so many videos with the little window like tab open and you can like click it and go to another video and if i can do it i'm gonna link madison's video because you definitely have to see it and she has like a lot of unread romance books that i've never heard before and i um i was excited to know a little bit more uh new titles so definitely get to her channel and follow her and watch her videos so without further ado i'm going to tell you most of my unread kindle books <laughs> So which books I am going to add to this list? I am going to add my library loans, the few of them I have right now. I am going to mention the ones, the books that I have bought, the books that I have been gifted, and the books that I have gotten from, for, from a sale, like they are free and I one click it because who doesn't love free books? So let's start. Also, also, I am not going to mention the synopsis unless like I really, really remember it because I have a short memory and I forget about all of them. Like I, I have, right in this list, I found out books that I didn't know I had and now I'm like, this sounds so good and I already have them. So I, I, I have found out a lot of things while doing this. So yeah, I am not going to add or mention any type of synopsis because this video will be longer and we don't want that. So I am only going to show you the pretty cover and you can judge the book by its cover and maybe maybe if I know the book enough I might mention like a trope or something but I don't think I'm going to remember anything. So yeah. This book I got from, from the library recently is Flirtosaurus by Erin Mallon. I love the cover, it's so pretty. Then I have Love at First Fight by Carrie Ahrens. I think it's a hate to love, so I'm all for that. Summer Fling by Tara Ross. I am still, I am still reading and craving summer romances. And some authors still are releasing, so I am eating them up. I have not read this, but you... You know what I mean? <laughs> I have Always Only You by Chloe Lee. In fact, I have already started it. I am like 10% in. I have not continued, but I do want to read it. I love the first book. This is the second book. They are they all are standalone, so don't worry. You can start with this. But I do recommend like reading um, only, only When It's Us because it's really, really sweet and I love that. Desires of Tomorrow by Malay Renee. Your Dad Will Do by Kerry Robert. This is this has like a daddy kink trope, I think. Like something like that. It's really kinky. I am ready for it. <laughs> White Up by Adriana Anders. I this is like a survival romance 
suspense. I think, I think it's like a survival romance. They go into this mountain and I think they get lost and stuff happens and they, they fall in love. It sounds epic and everyone loves it, so I'm ready for it. Behind the Scenes by Christina C. Jones. This is her new release. It's someone kindly gifted it to me. I am so excited to read. I love Christina C. Jones and the cover is beautiful as always. All Things Born by Jodi Slaughter. I am a huge fan of Jodi Slaughter. I have all her books. This is the only one I have not read. This is a mafia romance. They all, well, the people I follow and I'm friends with, they all said this is really good. And I need to get that mafia romance fix. I have always started reading them with Katrina Jackson books, so I better get to this. At Your Age by Eve Dangerfield. This is also a daddy kink book. I want to read it so badly, everyone loves it too. His Pretend Baby by Theodora Taylor. I think I got this book. I don't know if Rebecca Wetherspoon gifted to me or because of the recommendation she gave to me, I bought it. I don't remember, it was a really long time ago. But definitely Rebecca Wetherspoon has something to do with this. Like, this is why I have it. And if Rebecca loved it, I'm high key excited to read it. A Taste of Her Own Medicine by Tasha L. Harrison. I'm a huge fan of Tasha and this one is one of her new releases. And I think it has an age gap where the heroine is older. Last Chance to Love by Be Love. An Illicit Seduction by Chensia C. Higgins. Another Chance to Love by D. Rose. The Truth of Things by Tasha L. Harrison. You Out of Nowhere by J. E. Tria. If you saw my last video, I did a little book haul and I actually got this book on paperback. So I, I am sure I'm going to read the paperback and not the ebook, but I had the ebook first, so I have that one if it becomes a comfort read, I can read it whenever I want and not bring the paperback everywhere I go. Beautiful Dirty by Katrina Jackson. I read the sequel, The Hitman, and I loved it so much. It's one of my favorite reads for 2020. And I met the characters from this book, from Beautiful and Dirty there, and I got really intrigued. So I am sure I'm going to read this one. Songs to Your Beat by J. E. Tria. This series is all about a rock band in the Philippines and each member has their own book in the series. Tempting Her Neighbor by Laura Jardin. Janine His True Alpha by Chancia C. Higgins. If you want a wolf shifter romance, this is it. The Raven and the Dove by Kathleen Davis. I love the cover. I've seen it everywhere. Everyone really loves this book and it's a fantasy. I think it's a fantasy YA or is it like a new adult thingy? I am not sure, but look at the cover. I want it. Dry Me to Ecstasy by Monica Walters. Two Strikes by Holy Trent. Ace of Squids by Elliot Cooper. New Girl in Town by Rebel Carter. True Lover Christmas by D. Rose. Finding Forever by Christina C. Jones. And also Strictly Professional by Christina C. Jones. This was like a sale, like they were all free and Christina put like five books free and I got this too. I am a huge fan of Christina C. Jones' book. So I have a lot of them on read, like here in this list, but I've also read a few. So I am, she has like a huge backlist. So I am slowly getting to the whole backlist. Wait for me, please. <laughs> Honor and Desire by Rebel Carter. I adore the covers of this whole series. I only have this one, I think. I have not read any of the series and Rebel Carter has a lot of romances. Like she has historical, paranormal, contemporary. She has everything for everyone. If you're not into something, you might find something for you in Rebel Carter's book. Strictly Business by Cheryl Mantis. Real Kind of Love by Sarah Ryder. I, this is, this is a fake dating. I think this is a fake dating romance. Inconvenient Wife by Natasha Boyd. Tarboard Bow by Kim Jackson. That was, that was really hard for me to pronounce. Starboard Bow. Flip Flop 
Love by Rosemary Ray. Harry Potter Flower Love by Nicole Fultz. This is a novella, like a really short novella, and I think it has like a cooking competition, enemies to lovers kind of thing. The Magpie Lord by KJ Charles. Bible Thread by Julie Rowe. The Negotiator by Avery Flynn. Love Effects by Cat Cole. And Sweet Perfection by also Cat. Extra Credit by Saida Polanco. And a Crush Interrupted by also Saida Polanco. I think I have all of Saida's books and I've not read them yet. Tides of Vengeance by Tatum James. Another Film Must Go by Nikki Payne. Learning Curves by Silic Simkis. Please in Persephone by Mimi Milan. Happy Hour at Casa Dracula by Marta Acosta. I love vampire books and this one is written by a Latin ex writer. So if you are in the mood for vampire romance, this is a good pick. Falling for a Rake by Eve Pendle. To Love a Scandalous Duke by Liana de la Rosa. The Mistletoe Trap by Eve Pendle. I think we're coming into the historical romance whole list. And it's going to it's going to appear like I got like in a mood, uh, like a period of time I bought and got a lot of historical romances. Unforgettable by Delaney Diamond. Badly Done Emily by Leah Marie Brown. A Dash of Love by Terros. I am a huge fan of Terros' books and I love like this series. This is like a novella between book one and book two, I think. My Imaginary Acts by Mina Villasquerra. The Opposite of You by Rachel Higginson. Heartbeat Braves by Pamela Sanderson. Actually, this book is written by a Native American author. So I am very excited to read this. I got it one time and just left it there as all my books in this list. I'm a disappointment. Summer Stock by Vanessa North. Get Lucky by Lila Monroe. I'm actually really interested by this whole Lila Monroe book. She has a huge selection of romantic comedies and they are all in Kindle Unlimited too, so. I want to like do a video of me reading all her books or some of her books, like three or four, and let you all know if they're any good. I just might do the work for you and let you all know if they are or they are not. Five Zone Forever by Chase Verity. I am a huge fan of the first book, like Teen Python is one of my favorite comfort reads. I reread it like every single year. I love it. It's about video games. It has an age gap. It's everything. And this is the sequel. I think it's a short story on Christmas time and I've not read it yet. <laughs> Mother of Shadows by Meg Ann. Playing with Demons by Kelly Edwards. Manga Summer by Agai Janera. This is, I think this is an age gap where the heroine is older, I think. Silly Luna by Carla de Guzman. This is a royal romance. They're trying to do a heist to rob a painting. And I love the whole concept of this book, but I've not read it yet. Welcome to Mr. Wood Lane by Rion Lauda. Flipping the Script by Denise May P. Sison. Booty Call by Ainsley Book. Six Weeks with a Lord by Eve Pendle. Taste on My Tongue by Beth Bolton. Swing Batter Swing by Saida Polanco. Based on what this title is, I think. If I remember correctly, it's a baseball romance with Latino X characters, I think. I'm not too sure, but I I am like 80% certain it is. <laughs> After the Wedding by Courtney Milam. The Cybernetic Tea Shop by Meredith Katz. Pink Slip by Katrina Jackson. Round Midnight by Emma Barry. Trust Me by Caitlin Ayers. The Game Plan by Kristen Callihan. Pretend Girlfriend by Lily Craig. Read True by Denise M. Whitaker. French Kiss by Jamila Jasper. Much Ado About Christmas by Elizabeth Davis. Huddle With Me Tonight by Farrah Roshan. Ungrab Me by Jack Harbin. From this point on, I have a few Christmas romances. Very Christmas Baby by Sasha Devlin. Broken Resolutions by Olivia Day. New York Engagement by Maida Malby. Love in a Small Town by Zoe Jork. Small Town Secrets by Katrina Jackson. 
Project Saving Noah by Six de los Reyes. Ride Around Heartbreaker by Melissa Blue. Love and Delivery by Holy Trent. Reckless Love by Terras. Save the Last Dance for Me by Coralie. Lady Isabella's Scandalous Marriage by Jennifer Ashley. It's Not Just Semantics by Mayumi Cruz. Lock of the Draw by Kay Claiborne. I actually have not read any Clay Claiborne book. I have every, I have all her books, I think. I have her original trilogy and I have love lettering. And you bet I'm going to request her upcoming book uh, releasing on 2021. But I have not read any of her books. Please yell at me to read them. A Talent for Trickery by Alyssa Johnson. Undone by the Ex-Con by Talia Hibbert. And... The Prince's Trap by Talia Hubert. Rise by Nana Malone. All Ladder Up by Dahlia Donovan. The Vampire's Mail Order Bride by Kristen Painter. Accidental Harris by Emily Evans. The Story of Lucy and Darcy by Grace Watson. The Art of Seducing a Naked Werewolf by Molly Harbour. Soft and Soft by Mina Wahid. Everything But the Earl by Willa Ramsey. Nine Years Away by Estella Torres. Save the Date by Heather C. Myers. Tell Me Something Good by Jamie Wesley. Love on the Highlight Reel by Christina St. Jones. Love in the Red Sun by Love Belvin. A Taste of Pleasure by Chloe Blake. Layover by Katrina Jackson. Most Eligible Villainer by Anika Martin. Star Fiance by Shilpa Muriganti. Sunset Thunder by Shanine Leah. Ardos by Emma Bari. Love Your Frenemies by Mina Villasgara. For the Wind by Sarah Ryder. Her Billionaire Best Friend by Ainsley Book. So, these are all my Orec Kindle books. Like, not all. I'm joking. They are not my all. I have many. And I hope you enjoyed this video. I hope you saw some covers, saw some titles, and you became excited to read them. If you, like, took a title and searched it, do tell me which one, and maybe we could read it together, because I've not read any of these books. I have too many books, and I keep like hoarding more books. I can have a book slump, but I can't have a book buying time slump, you know? <laughs> if that happens to you too, yay, we are twins. I need twins for this, so I don't feel bad about hoarding books. So if you like this video, do hit that like button, and if you haven't subscribed, I highly recommend to do it. I will give you lots of romance-related content, and yeah, I'll see you the next time. Bye, guys. I love you. Thank you.